I want to get at a few little things that I did not bring up in the introduction video, um, and mo mostly that pertains to the grammar assignments or what your um, what our NROC course calls a foundation assignment. And I know nobody really cares for the uh, grammar assignments, um, looking at things, but they're so key to helping us understand each other. Um, actually saying what we think we're saying so that people can hear what we're really saying, um, whether that's by speech or in text. Um, we do have to pay attention to the conventions and the way things are really and have been done um, for years and years, um, no matter how rebellious or edgy you want to be. Um, if people don't understand what we're saying or what we're writing, then we've pretty much lost our edge. Um, there are five units in our class and so um, the NROC stuff has broken down um, the grammar and punctuation and things that they think is crucial um, for um, college reading and writing and giving you a little snippets in each section. Um, what I've done on our unit pages is to put in what I'm calling a plus one assignment. Um, there are exercises, um, either ones that I've written um, or ones that you can get from the Purdue OWL, the online writing lab. If you have not discovered the Purdue OWL yet, um, it is a lifesaver in lots and lots of ways in English class and other classes um, for documentation, for grammar, um, especially if you are an ESL student. Um, you can find all kinds of helps um, with count and non-count nouns and verb tenses and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, that drives most other folks crazy when they're trying to learn English. Um, and so I have put a link um, in our units um, to some exercises that the, well, that the Purdue OWL has, and then I have some handouts that I've created and some exercises that go along with those. Um, and if you do those, um, you can do up to three for each unit for credit. Um, you can do as many as you want um, for practice. Um, send them to me via email, um, and I will give you an extra credit point um, for each one that you do well. Um, and I'll talk to you, you know, we'll email back and forth about how that works um, and what you've done and how it looks. Um, but in Unit 1, um, we have subject, subjects and verbs, um, basic sentence and punctuation, and some prepositional phrases. Um, and the articles that the NROC has are very good. Um, I encourage you to look through them. Um, they do give you some samples to look at um, and some things you can do on your own, um, and they're okay. Um, the, the Purdue OWL has a little bit more depth to it, um, and you can um, check your work in either site. Um, anything that you do in that way, um, either screenshot it or copy and paste, um, put it in a document and send it to me, and I'd be more than happy to have a look. Um, and give you some extra credit points. Um, this is the only kind of extra credit assignment I will give in this class, um, but you can still earn extra credit for extra work. Um, that goes in the discussion boards and other things that we do um, to help you kind of get along with things. Um, so I want to walk through this more specifically than I have been. Um, unit 1, again, subjects and verbs, basic um, and punctuation. Um, and prepositional phrases, um, particularly um, things of direction to the store, on the board, that kind of thing. In Unit 2, um, we're tackling sentence problems, things like fragments and run-on sentences and comma splices, um, and the OWL has some really good exercises on that and some really good explanations and how to check your own work um, to make sure you're not doing these things. Um, basically, it's a, it's a tutorial. Um, unit 3, um, subject and verb agreement and verb tense, uh, making sure that you are staying in the same tense throughout your paper um, helps your reader um, stay engaged and stay in the right space as well. Um, unit 4 has um, a few comma things, um, introductory phrases, and um, when we use the word however in its friends, um, how to punctuate that. And it also does some stuff with parallelism. Um, parallelism is a little bit um, more advanced, but it's something that we do most of the time without really thinking about it. 
um, in the simplest case, um, but this is a, just a way to kind of check things um, when you go back through and edit your work. And we'll talk more about editing in another video. Um, and Unit 5 has um, the sentence types, things like compound, complex, simple. Um, it also talks about um, commas in a series and also pronoun and referent agreement, um, which is something that is even more and more strange and strained in our current society. Um, and so these are very conservative rules, all of these that we've talked about. Um, and so some of them um, you have to break these days, especially when you're talking about particular people and you want to talk about their pronouns. Um, you also have a few things in there about what to do with those things that we don't really count as pronouns, like everyone and someone and anyone. Um, those are actually pronouns. Um, it goes beyond the he, she, it, they mess. Um, so anyway, I want to make sure that you knew about the plus one assignments. You can do up to three for credit in each unit. Um, you can do more than that if you need to or want to. Um, just make sure that you send them to me via email prior to the last day of our unit. Um, and those dates are on Blackboard. Um, I don't want to mess them up for you, so I'm not going to say them out loud here. Um, I know the first one is um, March 24th, which is next Tuesday. Um, so anything from Unit 1 um, that you want to get credit for, please turn them in by then. We'll be very happy to pop them in and give you credit. Um, so again, make sure if you have any questions or problems about grammar that you're asking, um, that you're taking direction well, um, that you're practicing, um, and things will get better from here. They always do. A little more practice is always good for everybody. Um, if the class as a whole or if enough people in the class would like to see videos um, or demonstrations, whatever, on um, particular types of grammar that we're going to run through, um, just shoot me an email and I'd be more than happy to comply. Okay, so thanks and have a good day.